Welcome back, gamers, to a special edition of Friday Night Frights. This episode of Friday, well, this edition of Friday Night Frights will be encompassing the entire Memorial Day weekend and also this coming Monday as well. So if you're sitting here watching it and being like, well, it's not Friday, well, there's a reason behind it. With the special edition of Friday Night Frights, as you see on the screen, we are covering Man Eater, which just launched today. And uh, we're going to continue on with our story. In this segment, we're going to be leveling up our shark pup and uh, getting him to evolve into a teenage shark uh, that's not my words that's actually the game's words um, real quick as I did in the first video I gave a quick shout out to Steve Alton and uh, and we continue with this video as a segment here uh, in each video I'm going to introduce you to Steve Alton and his books um, first up as I'm going to throw on the screen real quick and you'll see this in post-production not on the live setting uh, this picture of me and Steve Alton right here, I got a chance to meet him in person a few years back. Very, very humbling experience. I have never been starstruck by anybody, and I know he's just an author, but man, I was tongue-tied that day. But very, very blessed to get a couple autographs from him, as well as a photo opportunity. Uh, I also do consider Steve Alton to be a friend, as we do converse back and forth via email at times. And before I get started on this video, I really do want to get some of you all into the Meg series. Many of you may have seen the Meg movie, poster you see up on the screen right now. But before there was a movie, there was a book. And the book series currently is teetering on seven main stories. I say teetering because there's an up-and-coming seventh book. And there's a couple of uh, prequel stories as well, that being Meg Origins, as well as the Angel of Death series that takes place in between books one and two. But first up on your screen is the first four books, and those are the original Meg book, then it's going to be The Trench, then you're going to be uh, Primal Waters, and the final installment of the first four original books is Hell's Aquarium. These books are awesome very great reads and they're considered fact fiction which means there's a lot of factual information mixed in with a story uh, also I also want to touch on that just about everything that Steve talks about in his books that could possibly happen has in some way shape or form happened here in the future since those books are being written so let you guys go ahead and take a look at all of those books get your leisure get into them you will not regret them in the next video we will touch on the next book in the series which will be book number five and I'll show you the cover for that as well uh, towards the end of the series after we cover all the books plus a special project coming up involving the Meg I will also touch on a couple books that cross over into the Meg series. Again, you will enjoy what I have to tell you about, as well as the gameplay. But I think I've spoken enough about that at this point. Let's get on with the leveling up of our shark. So as you can see here, we're in our grotto. What we're going to have to do here is come out of our grotto. And basically just start eating everything you can. You want to steer away from some of the boss animals. Uh, you need a little bit of a hand with that. What you want to do is use your sonar ping. Now, I just upgraded my sonar ping. So now it should show me a much wider range of creatures to go after. And there's some of them right now. And like I said, you want to just kind of swim around and chew and eat everything. The goal is to get our shark up to level 4 so we can go back to the grotto and evolve to the next shark level which should also allow us to complete a couple of the hunts on this level and open up the next segment for us and keep pinging now I know in reality sharks really don't have um, a seminar per se but what they do have is in their snout is like a gel type coating with little peppered pores and what these are is the ampoule of uh, Lorenzini and this is what basically does the effect of the shark being able to have capabilities like sonar but what it is is that they can actually sense things the predator's with that. torpedo like form allows her to navigate the area efficiently Also, by pinging, it will also allow us to see 
collectibles, landmark areas. Ooh, where you going, buddy? This will take a little bit of time. And also give you a chance to get more acquainted with the controls. And you do want to watch out for gators. Speaking of, get me the fuck out of here, get me the fuck out of here. It was a little bit too big for me to go after. <laughs> and the gator's still trying to come at me. I knew he was chasing me. still coming after me All right, now he's swimming away it looks like so I need to find something to eat and regain my health that gator is weak but I don't think I can take him on right now let's go find some fish There's a muskie up ahead. Oh, he got me. Alligator comes from the Spanish El Lagarto, which means the lizard. Which really isn't that interesting. I really feel like it is better to do your hunting underwater. There we go. Some more leveling. It's another catfish. lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. 
And so at this point, we want to go back. It's up here. Boats. We want to go back to our little grotto. So let's make that a uh, Basically, I can't figure it out on the map at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swim around a little bit. Until we find those glowing cable things again. take us directly back to the grotto. Apparently the grotto is a little cave thing, you see. The shark is now a team, and we should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making. So there we got that new age uh, receive we're teen we have a new ability which is the tail whip which we've been able to do that since the beginning is that now it's much much more stronger and we got some more uh skill points added to us let's go ahead and hit okay there so this is how our shark's looking as a teen let's go ahead and add to this Mm, doesn't look like it's letting me do that, so maybe it's something...